Come on, bless him all over the building. Come on, is that the best praise you have? Is that the best worship you have? Come on, if you're in relationship, you don't mind giving God what belongs to him. Come on and offer it up to him right now. Oh, rain. Send your rain. Send your rain, Jesus. In this place, Jesus. Fall down, Jesus. Shower down, Jesus. Pour down, Jesus. Somebody just go like this. I want it all. I want it all. I want it all. I want the anointing. I want his power. I need his presence. I need his glory. Falling. All right. The presence of the Lord is here. You may be seated if you can. But I sense something's about to happen. I said something is about to happen. Shackles are going to be loose this morning. Bondages are going to be broken this morning. Harassing demons are going to flee this morning. Revelation is going to be released this morning. Insight is going to be given this morning. Somebody's going to get their answer this morning. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. At this time, we're we're asking all visitors, if you are a first time visitor, if you could stand up at this time so we can acknowledge you. If you are a first time visitor here at the Empowerment Temple Church. God bless you. As you remain standing, we want you to know that we appreciate you coming. We recognize there's over a thousand churches in the city of Baltimore. And for you to stop by this particular church, we don't count it lightly, but we appreciate you for coming. We trust that you feel the presence of the Lord already, but we want you to know that the best is yet to come. Empowerment Temple, on behalf of Jamal Harrison Bryant and the leadership and the members of this church, we welcome you. Empowerment Temple, let's welcome our visitors. Amen. God bless you. If you have a birthday in the month of August. Can you make some noise, please? Hallelujah. All August birthdays, we want you to know we wish you a happy birthday this month. And yes, the Lord himself said that this is one of the greatest months. Amen. Amen. And I just believe it. I believe I heard from the Lord that August. Hallelujah. Why? Because I was born in August. So I know God spoke and said August. Amen. If there are if there are any August anniversaries, if you were married in the month of August, we want you to stand at this time. <laughs> Hallelujah. God bless you. We want to acknowledge you all. And we thank God for you that he will continue to do what he promised for you. Amen. Our, our Bible study summer break has begun. So we would not have Bible study this Tuesday or the remainder of the month of August uh, because we will be celebrating the greatest month of the year. Amen. But we will resume Bible study on Tuesday, September the 2nd at 730 p.m. We want you to mark your calendars for August the 21st to the 24th for our youth week where we'll be having the empowerment temples first youth conference amen the theme is back down for what we have the power nation which is the youth ministry here at empowerment temple and our nation which is the youth ministry of bethel ame church who have come together amen for one nation under god to bring in the presence of the lord into the city of baltimore so we're looking for for god doing a great thing for our young people so we want you to invite your uh, register your nieces your nephews your grandsons grandsons granddaughters all young people we want you to invite and and register them to this particular conference you can go on to www.backdownforwhat.com where you can see the conference layout we have dynamic speakers musical guests coming uh from Jacqueline Carr to Darius Daniels amen from the truth amen I heard a rap group called Alpha and Omega is going to be doing their thing y'all y'all need to check them out there's some twins named Alpha and Omega that's going to be there for the hip-hop but we also know that on that Saturday 
Saturday. Somebody shout Saturday. On Saturday, there will be free backpack giveaways where we're giving away uh, school supplies, backpacks, and all types of things for our young people. There will also be free haircuts on that particular day. So we want you to bring all your young people to that to that conference that weekend. Amen. We're looking for volunteers to participate, to help out with setting up and breaking down and registration, what have you. So if you want to help and give back, maybe you feel I can't work with the young people throughout the year, but you want to make a sacrifice for this particular weekend. We want you to come. We'll go out to the vestibule in the lobby and you can ask, what must I do to show that I'm safe? And I want to help the young people out and they will give you information. Amen. On what to do to uh, or what areas are needed. Also, we want every member. This is what you can do. Every member if you yourself do to show that I'm safe and I want to help the young people out and they will give you information. Amen. On what to do to uh, or what areas are needed. Also, we want every member, this is what you can do, every member, if you yourself can get a backpack, fill it up with some school supplies and bring it to church next Sunday and put it at this altar. Can you hear, did y'all hear what I said? I said uh, the next Sunday, starting next Sunday, get your backpack, go purchase a backpack and so into, also on Tuesday, August the 12th, there will be, we have a sponsorship with Chick-fil-A, we're partnering with Chick-fil-A night for Spirit Night, so we want you to come and be a part of that go buy some food but I want you to understand that the proceeds from that a percentage will be given back to this conference so go out there amen uh, the place is on five six six eight Baltimore National Pike in Cattonsville Maryland I think I said that right um, Chick-fil-A so we want you to come there and again as you purchase and as you buy something to eat uh, some of the proceeds will be given back to our young people amen so be a blessing on on Tuesday and lastly, uh, Empowerment Encounter will be taking place on tomorrow at 8 p.m. where Dr. Bryant will be there with special guests including Bishop Lester Love, Bishop Cynthia James, Pastor Matthew Watley, and Pastor Bronius Mitchell. You do not want to miss this Empowerment Encounter. I did want to mention as well on August the 30th, August the 30th, this is for anyone that is in the 11th grade and 12th grade, your, your children that are in 11th grade and the 12th grade come Coming up this year, we have been an, a, a partnership with the University of Maryland uh, of College Park with the Angels Group here, as well as the youth ministry. They're going to take our young people over to the college campus by bus. They're going to feed them, give them information on how they can get in college, how they can get scholarships. Come on, somebody. Talk to the parents. Give the parents information. They have, I think they said 55 seats or 55 so we said they said that they'll take care of as many children as possible. So 11th and 12th graders and their parents. So we need you to register out in the vestibule. The angels, uh, the angels team has been putting this together with the youth ministry. So go see them in the vestibule so your young people can go to college. Amen. Somebody. Are you ready for the word of the Lord? Are you ready for the word of the Lord? This side looks like they're really ready to hear a word from the Lord. Is there anybody that needs an answer from God? Do you need the Lord to speak? to your situation. I want you to put your hands together as back to Dr. Jamal Harris and Brian comes with the word after our semiotic selection. I'd like to ask if every parent that parents someone from the ages of 11 to 29 are back down for what choir is already into our second rehearsal this Friday from 7.30 to 9 is our third rehearsal and we need your help. Our goal is 150 voices for the back down for what community choir. So get the word out. Can you do that for us in the name of the Lord? And just we'll hear we're here right here in the sanctuary on Fridays at 7.30. The Philippians writer says that in the second chapter that the name of the Lord that God has given Jesus a name which is above every name that at the name of Jesus every knee will bow and every tongue will confess that he is Lord to the glory of God the Father and the song just simply lifts up the name of the Lord there is power in the name of Jesus come on Janice and there is power in the name of Jesus there is power in the name of Jesus to break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. Oh, break every chain, 
Break every chain. Break every chain. Come on, let's sing it. There's a come on. There is power in the name of Jesus. Come on, you know it. Come on, let's sing it together. There is power in the name of Jesus. Break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. There's an army. There's an army rising up. There's an army rising up. Yes, it is. There's an army rising up, yeah. So break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. So break every chain, break every chain, break every It sounds real good empowerment with one accord to break every chain. Say, to break every chain, break every chain. Say, break every chain. Yeah, so break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. Yeah. Break every chain. Come on, if you know that, that's the name of the Lord. Come on, let's begin to declare the name of Jesus. Come on, all over this sanctuary. A strong tower, the righteous running in our safe. Oh, I hear the chains falling. <laughs> Can you hear it in the spirit? Yeah, I hear the chains falling. Oh! <laughs> 